Father, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua, giving all glory to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heed this, my brothers and sisters. My channel and mission in these videos is to draw you back to the Lord. That is a desire, to draw you back to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To draw you back to Yeshua. To remind you that you need to repent of your sins. You need to let go of the worldly things. That's all this channel is about. And to reveal truths in dreams and in visions that God has revealed to me. And with these things, he says, tell them. Reveal to them. Tell them what I just told you, what I just revealed to you, what I just given you understanding. Feed my sheep. Tell them about me. Tell them what they need to do. Help them. Care for them. Guide them. My brothers and sisters in Yeshua, when it comes to teaching God's people or feeding his sheep, these things are serious. I mean, you're dealing with people's souls all eternity, all eternity. That person will stand before the Lord and be judged. And you will have something to do with that. Those who teach, those who preach, those who reveal prophecy. For you get false prophets and false teachers and false preachers that are arising rapidly in this world on a mission, especially in these last days, to deceive God's people. But the Lord won't allow you to be deceived if you desire not to be deceived. The only way you will be deceived is, is when you refuse. Hear this, my brothers and sisters. The only way you will be deceived in these last days is up to you. If you refuse to abide in God's truth, not man, if you refuse to abide in God's truth, and you refuse to submit, and you refuse to obey, yes, God will allow false prophets, false teachers, false servants to deceive you in these last days. God will allow it, and he is sending strong delusion to keep you in it. He will cause you to receive false dreams, false visions, because you refuse to abide in him. You refuse to submit to him. Heed that and understand that. That's not a lie. But the Lord says he will send a strong delusion in the last days. This delusion is dreams. False. This, this, this uh, uh, delusion is visions. You get false teachers, false preachers. Swear up and down they're speaking the truth. Well, it's all lies. Look at their lives. They're far away from God, yet they say they receive the dream and the vision from God. God will do this. He said, since you refuse to believe in the truth, I'm going to give you up to this lie. And I will send a strong delusion to keep you in that lie. Look at your heart. Where are you at with the Lord? For you hear many false prophets, many false teachers, many false preachers saying that they've, had, they've been receiving dreams from the Virgin Mary, from the Virgin Mary telling them to do this, telling them to do that. And then you ask them, you see, you ask, where is your life with God? Where is your relationship with Christ? There's none. There's no relationship. In these last days, you must test every spirit that speaks about the Lord. Don't believe everything you hear. If you believe everything you hear, that's a guarantee you'll be deceived. 
you have to ask yourself, does this prophet cry out for repentance, for people to repent, for people to turn back to the Lord, for people to, to denounce their sin and to give away their lives? Does this teacher or this preacher or this prophet say these things? Are they preaching about holiness and loyalty to Yeshua? Do they do this? Are they strong about this? Or are they telling, or are they just basically speaking empty words, not preparing you for judgment? For when the day of judgment comes, you won't be prepared because of these false prophets, these teachers, these pastors did not get your hearts ready. These videos I put out is about truth. You may not like it, like I say, but I'm not here to scratch anyone's itchy ear. You must hold on to the rock of Yeshua. You must get right with the Lord. You must let your sin go. Stop walking after your own lust. Live according to the will of God, not your will. In these last days, you will not survive if you continue to live according to your own will. The things that are going around in this world right now, it's temporary. So you're living in sin, thinking you're living the life. This is not forever. God will put a stop to this. Being on earth is only a test. It's only a test. This is not the life. This is not life. For those who build their houses on a solid rock, when testing comes, that house will not be knocked down. That solid rock is Yeshua. That is his command. That is him being rooted deeply in your heart, in your mind, giving you, you who have given your whole life to him. He will make sure that you do not be deceived in these last days. But those who do not build that build your house on that rock, when testing comes, your house will crumble because you're still in the world. You have itchy ears. You don't want God to control your whole life. You still want to try to control your, your, your sinful life. My videos aren't for you. My videos are for his sheep. Those who don't have understanding, but they want to be close to the Lord. They need a teacher. They need someone to guide them. God sends out his people to teach his people. And these teachers and these prophets and these pastors that God has risen up, they have much responsibility. It's not a game for we deal for you we deal with people's souls. People's souls, this is for all eternity. Either this person will be with the Lord for all eternity or this person will be in a lake of fire burning. But you must speak truth whether they heed it or not. For the day will come when the Lord will judge the world. You will stand before him in strict judgment. But you can't turn around and say this teacher, this pastor, this preacher did not teach me that. They did not warn me this would happen. Yes, I'm warning you. Every, I'm, every video, there's a warning. God doesn't play. You will stand before his throne. You will be terrified at his presence alone. But you have not readied your heart for that. He will look at every crevice of your life. Replay back everything in your life. Any habitual sin that has not been repented, he will kill you, hands down. That's why I say, you refuse to hear the truth, do not subscribe. In the day of testing, you will see people left and right being swallowed up by the Lord, being killed by the Lord. Why? Habitual sin. Refusing to repent.
in the last days, deception everywhere. Double-minded everywhere. Because of why? They refuse to follow Christ. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you what you want to hear. I'm going to tell you what you need to hear before the great day of the Lord. But when that day comes, there's no more prophets telling you this. There's no more teachers telling you that. There's no more preachers warning you this. God will say, now it's time for me to do exactly what I told you to tell them that I would do. For when Yeshua comes with his angels, he's not coming to celebrate any type of parties first. He's coming to kill. Heed that and understand that. He is coming to kill, to slaughter, and he was starting the church first. So when you see him, knowing that you have not repented of sin, that you refuse to abide in Christ 100%, there will be no, oh, help me, please, someone help, or wait, wait. No, Christ is going to kill you. His angels will kill you. Then you will know these words that I speak is true, not because I said it, but these are written in Scripture. God has no tolerance for sin. He sent his son to die on the cross to take your place, but you refuse to obey his son. Is he not right to kill you, to destroy you? Because that's what he was supposed to do in the beginning, but he showed grace. You refuse his grace, you refuse his son's salvation, so therefore he is just in destroying you. Because you indulged in sin. Because you refused to change. You had itchy ears. You wanted the Joe Osteen pastors. You wanted the Joe Osteen teachers. You wanted, you loved the Joe Osteen prophets. God will allow them to rise. And these false teachers are God's judgment on those who don't want God. But in the name of religion, they want to satisfy their own cardinal hearts. So God will allow it. And at that, and at that moment when judgment time comes, you'll be judged accordingly. And the Lord will kill you. Trust that and heed that, my brothers and sisters. For you sway the false teachers who don't speak nothing about repentance. They don't say nothing about you need to remain holy. They don't tell you anything about you need to be loyal to Yeshua. They don't tell you any, any of these things. They don't tell you that you need to repent so that you may receive the Holy Spirit. They don't tell you that you must uh, be baptized with the water and the Spirit in order to access the kingdom of heaven. They don't remind you that the gate is narrow to access the kingdom of heaven. They tell you about worldly things because these people are not from God. But God will allow them to arise. These people are working on the behalf of Satan. He said there will come um, wolves and sheep clothing. But you yourself will be deceived because you refuse to test the spirit. Does this person speak truth? Does this person draw draw me to Christ? Does this teacher or this preacher convict me of my sin? No, you don't. You like to be flattered. I'm not here to flatter anyone. But these preachers speak all about, oh, everything's peaceful. Everything's okay. Basically building a flimsy wall. These are liars. They say, oh, it's peaceful. Everything is good. God has blessed you. You have such a great life. Your best life now. Liars. Liars. But they will come where you will see that this isn't your best life now. This is only a test. This world is only temporary, but when the day of the Lord comes or you die, you will see that these teachers, these preachers, these pastors who said all was peaceful, 
They were liars. And they are liars. All working for Satan. Be not be be not deceived, my brothers and sisters in Yeshua. Worship the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Draw near to him, for he calls you every day to repent. Every day is a new mercy. You must submit to Christ. You must follow after him. You must remain holy, a holy mind, a holy heart, a holy body. You must remain loyal to Christ. We know no one's perfect, but this must be a progress. For in scripture it says, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. This is how serious the kingdom of heaven is. It says, work out your salvation. When people say, oh, you can't lose salvation, then why does scripture say, work out your salvation with fear and trembling? I'm not here to tickle your ears, and I will tickle, I will not tickle anyone's ear. Either you accept the truth when you hear it, or you don't. Take care of my brothers and sisters in Yeshua.